Hi everyone, it's Christy. We are going to do a basic starter type, not starter, but beginner uh, journal. And I'm going to use the Theodosia Square. This is from Hobby Lobby, um, the paper studio. Um, but very basic. And today I think we'll just go ahead and work on the cover. And then tomorrow we'll talk about the pages and, and things like that. But anyway, I'm going to use a file folder um, to do the cover. And because I have a stack of these file folders, and I'm going to make this one eight, well, not eight, nine by six, six by nine. Are you supposed to say the width first? Does it really matter? I don't know. Some, some people say yes, some people say no. It's nine inches one way and six inches the other, so um, the fold is here. I'm going to do six. The reason I'm doing 9 by 6 is because that way I can just use 8.5 by 11 paper um, and fold it in half. And I'm going to do this a couple times just to make sure I get through that. And I'm going to keep these because these will make cute little pockets later. And gosh, I should have cleaned off my desk from the last project, but I didn't. So I'll have to do that later. But um, Okay, so I've got it six inches this way. That's a, a, a nice size width for me. That's what I like. So now I'm going to do the nine inches the other way. Um, doesn't matter where because the tabs are gone. So, there we go. All right, so I'm going to keep everything extra until I get finished. So there, so we, there we have the basic uh, journal cover. Um, I guess the first thing I want to do then is ink around the edges. So get my little chocolate out here. And I'm just going to go around the edges here. Now the reason I'm doing this is because um, I don't want the edge to show and I'm going to add papers but this will overlap that so I don't have to go in very far maybe a quarter of an inch so I am going to ink around this both sides and I'll be back okay so this um, I forgot to mention that this series is for my friend Cindy. Hi Cindy. Um, she said I need to learn how to do this. She um, has a couple of my journals and she just loved it and got hooked and went and bought supplies and then said now what? So I, I told her I said I'll tell you what I will try to do a basic series um, where to start. And I know when I started doing journals, it was overwhelming because there's there's so many different styles, there's so many different um, themes, and then you start watching these videos and you can't stop watching these videos and you see all these cool things and you want to try this and you want to try that, that you get to where there's so much that you want to see and do that you just don't start and and the, the biggest thing that you need to do is just jump in start somewhere and and then keep a running list that's what I do I have a list on the side every time I see something I add it to my list of here's something I want to do in the future I can't put everything in one book so I gotta start somewhere but um, also I want to say about this cover this is file folder but you could also use a, like a hanging file folder you could use a piece of uh, cardstock if you wanted to you could use a cereal box anything that you could cut this size fold in half you can use a, a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook cardstock um, you know the whatever there's all kinds of options so we are going to actually 
cut a piece to fit inside here. We are not going to do a wrap cover this time. I'll do that another time. But I wanted this to be, you know, just bare bones. Um, so therefore, you do not have to ink. Inking is optional. I like ink because I like everything grungy. Uh, this is my speed. I like things that are, uh, you know, old and vintage and distressed and wrinkled and, you know, that's me. But do what you like. If you don't like grunge, don't use grunge. Don't, don't, you know. Anyway, I'm going on and on. Let me get back to where we're supposed to be. So I need to choose, and I'm going to use this um, designer paper. And I'm going to do it sideways. I hope that doesn't bother you guys too much. But I, I want to have, uh, choose something. And I did see one in here. Was it? It wasn't the sewing one. Um, there was a Parisian one in here somewhere. Was it this one? I like the one with the shoes. Might be that one. That's an option. That one's really cool, too. That would make a neat cover. Um, let me just flip through here a minute and see which one. I think it was the one with the... Although, I like that, too. Um... See, that's how come I have to make more than one because look at how cute that is with the strawberries. Um, there's just too many really, really beautiful papers. And I've made a traveler's notebook with that one. Um, I think I'm going to use this one. That is going to be my cover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it down to eight and a half by 11 because that's going to give me uh, cut in half the size that I want. So let's see. Do I want the shoes? Yes, I do. So I'm going to go eight and a half this way. And I'm going to keep all my cutoffs to the side because those what I'm going to be using to decorate. So eight and a half and 11 here so that means I'm going to cut off one inch from the top okay you know what I did that completely wrong okay so I'm going to cut this down to eight and a half by 11 except for this time I'm going to pay attention to the orientation of my paper I need it to go like this therefore I need to cut this size eight and a half so, or this side, not size. So eight and a half this way, keeping the cutoffs, and 11 this way, so I'm gonna cut off one inch. There we go. Okay, and then I want to cut this in half. So that will be half of 11 is five and a half. And now I can choose which one I want for my cover on my back page. So, that one says Cologne, France, 1925. I think I kind of want, the, I still kind of want that shoe on there, like so. All right, so that is the one I'm going to use. Now, as far as glue is concerned, you have lots of options with glue. Um, you can use um, glue stick. Um, there's some some that are better than others. Um, you can use tacky glue. You could use regular school glue. Um, you know, you just you just want something that's gonna stick. I like to use this clear gel by Aline's because um, it's multi-purpose, and I can use it with fabric. I can use it with um, buttons and uh, pieces of metal and things like that. It 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 will wor it'll work for all kinds of things, and that's why I like to use it. Um, for some reason, craft paper has a hard time with it, but if I let it get a little tackier, I don't seem to have as many issues with it. And um, I think that's just because craft paper is more textured, but. I'm just going to center this 
it's approximately a quarter of an inch top to bottom side to side like so and I like to use a brayer you don't need to have a brayer um, I happen to have it because I bought it 20 years ago um, and it makes me feel like I'm getting better contact but you could easily just rub it with your fingers and use it or use a card of some sort you could use a piece of cardstock to, to flatten it down I kind of try to go out toward the edges the glue will um, seal okay let's do the other side actually that piece of, of chipboard worked pretty good so the very first journal I made um, was from an altered book and I took I believe it was my chicken book was the first one and it's in my um, it's maybe my third or fourth video that I posted that was the first um, journal that I actually made and the reason it was the first one that I made was because I had bought this uh, scrapbook paper kit or not kit but um, stack I don't even remember the name of it country life or something like that um, and it 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 had the chickens and I just thought I'm gonna use that for a recipe book well I did not ever use it for a recipe book in fact I actually ended up selling it but um, it was my prototype I probably should have kept it but everyone that I showed it to loved it and somebody asked to buy it and I said okay so um, but that was just a hardcover book that I gutted um, you know a Dollar Tree book and then I used the scrapbook paper um, and copy dyed paper and I think I followed a tutorial I haven't watched the video in a long time so I'm, forgive me if I'm wrong but I think I probably uh, watched a, a tutorial from Gail Agostinelli um, because I remember she did one called Anatomy of a Vintage Book and it had a lady's name on it I don't remember exactly which one it is but I think that was the one that I followed first so I didn't do a simple journal to start with I of course have to always start with something more complicated <laughs> and complicate my life but um, yeah so then I discovered some of these one signature ones and they're they're very fun I just I love these and what I like about these is that you could probably do this journal start to finish on a Saturday um, and I like things that I can start and finish um, because if I if if I can't start and finish it like in one or two sittings I have a box of UFOs unfinished um, objects over in the corner that I need to get to and never get to so all right, let's pick one for the inside. So let's see. I think I'm going to come back to this one and use it for one of the pages. I really love this with the tiny blue flowers. Let me see if I have another one of those in here. I've used quite a bit of this pack. It had 180 sheets, um, and I made 12 traveler's notebooks out of it covers and pages and stuff so um, I have used a good amount that one's pretty I would like this one if it um, well it has the sewing on the side but I really like that this one has the music paper that would make a an excellent cover with the corset. I love that. <laughs> Let's see. Oops. Where's the... 
That one's very similar to that other. Well, hmm, maybe I don't have any more of the little tiny blue flowers. I probably used those in my... That one's pretty. Yeah, tear that out because if I don't use that one, it'll be one of my pages. Oh, this one too. That would work. Yeah. Did I start all the way in the back? Some of them kind of... There's a big chunk back here where I used a bunch of them. Oh, uh, this is the one I want to use. Okay, I want to use this one. This reminds me of my grandma. I did a digital um, kit. It's not a scrapbook kit, but I did a, a digital scrapbooking kit. Um, actually, it wasn't a scrapbooking kit. What was it? A d digital fabric collection. That's what it was. Um, called Luora that I based on my grandma, and I just loved it. So I may play with that a little bit and convert it into a uh, junk journal kit of some sort. We'll see. I started out, um, you know, scrapbooking, and when I converted to digital scrapbooking, I needed to know how to do my own because I had things in my head um, that I wanted done, and so I bought Photoshop. Actually, my husband bought it for my, for my birthday, I think. And I started taking classes, and and uh, you got to keep up with Photoshop. But oh, I guess I need to cut that in half. Um, I haven't done it for a while, so I'm a little out of practice. And I bought the new Photoshop Elements. Um, it's a little bit different than the last one I had. I, but my first one was 2006, so. Um, they've come a long way since then. All right, so let's do this. Okay, now, um, so this will be my inside. And you can see a little bit of those words are going to show, but first thing I want to do here is reinforce the spine because I'm going to be sewing in the signatures here. So before I put these covers on, that's what I'm going to do here. Now, there's lots of ways that you can reinforce the spine. You can use Tyvek, and I do most of the time use Tyvek. I buy uh, wristbands from Amazon. Um, and if you don't know what Tyvek is, let me see if I got, got some around here somewhere. Tyvek is the material that's in your overnight envelopes. It's kind of like a, it feels like a plasticky, paper and it's very durable so you can twist it and pull it and do all kinds of things to it and it's tough so I bought this I think it was a um, 100 bracelets and I just cut off the sticky part and then I will put that right there and that gives me a really uh, sturdy spine but today I'm not going to do that and I'm sorry I keep talking backwards I have a bunch of stuff behind me okay sorry about that somebody came to the door anyway so what I'm going to use for this today is this tape this is medical tape. I, um, it's like a paper tape and this will be great for the spine here. So I'm going to run just a piece of that down the center like so. And it kind of disappears into the background. Okay, let me find what did I do with my scissors. go. So anyway, you could use fabric, you could use duct tape, you could use masking tape, all kinds of things that you could use. Probably packing tape. Um, and I'm just going to rub that down. 
my bone folder. Okay. Um, I am going to be la adding lace to this journal. So I'm just looking at this here for a minute. And I'm noticing that this these words show which is not a big deal to me because it is a file folder um, normally I would want that on the back page but I wasn't paying attention so um, I think what I'm gonna do on top of this tape is run a piece of lace down so and I've got some I believe it's just polyester lace um, I'm just going to run that down the middle to cover up a little bit of the words. It's not going to completely cover them up, but that's okay. It'll cover up a little bit. So I am going to glue that down. And when, when we get the, um, the pages sewn in, you won't even notice um, those words down there. So not a big, not a big deal. Because the, the pages will kind of curve and hide that on the bottom. So let's get this piece. Did I get that tape on there? Oh, I did pretty, pretty good I'm getting it straight. So just run that down the middle. Oh, I didn't cut it the right size at all. You don't have to put lace in your journal. I know a lot of people don't don't like the lace. Um, I'm not going to be sewing on any of this journal. But you can sew things down if you'd like. Okay. Now I have the piece of lace down first here. Now I'm going to mat the pages. And I probably, this one had a lot of, probably should make sure I have it going the right way. Um... I should probably ink around here just a little bit, but not absolutely necessary. Just to, these pages are kind of already grungy. Sorry if I seem a little scatterbrained today, guys. I, I got a late start. I was going to videotape earlier, and then I realized I had another project that I needed to get done first and I had to do shipping some Etsy orders and um, so I'm getting a late start today and I usually like to do my videos first thing but I'm getting to it okay so I'm going to is that the right way up Sometimes it's hard to tell when it's written in these other languages, but I'm pretty sure that's the way it goes. And then what I'm what I'm going to do with this same lace is I'm going to run a piece of that um, down the spine after we sew the signatures in, and that will cover up the stitches. You don't have to do that, but I think it'll give us a little interest on the spine on the cover. I like to put pockets inside the covers to kind of tuck things in and um, one thing that I think really turns out nice is if you can use like some vintage or vintage style um, postcards for the inside pockets. That's one of my um, favorite things to do. About a quarter of an inch all the way around. I may have. 
have to speed this part up. Taking too long to do the glue. I'm not trying to overcomplicate it. Um, sometimes I have a tendency to overcomplicate when I'm trying to simplicate. <laughs> when I'm trying to simplify things, I, I tend to over over complicate. So I apologize in advance. Cindy's gonna make fun of me tomorrow if she watches this video. And be like, what? There we go. And these red flowers are the same color here. That's the beauty of using one um, one paper collection is that pretty much, you know, the designers have done all the matching and coordinating for you. You don't have to, to worry. Um, I did get that lace on a little, little bit crooked, I think, but that's okay. All right. So now we've got the outside cover and the inside cover. And there again, I'm not going to put the lace on this until after we sew in the signatures. Um, but that is a simple cover that I'm going to do for now. And then tomorrow um, we will um, pick out the papers that we want to use and sew them in and put some pockets on for that. Okay? So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.